after the winner of this. But no, I don't. There's winners for this. What are they doing? Neutral! Neutral! This some good neutral right here. Neutral? Neutral looks like Wolf Laser and uh, Egg Toss, but this is pretty good neutral too. Alright, they're starting? Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure what any of these players' game plans are going are to be in this matchup. For this one, I think they both honestly just kind of rush each other down. But Wolf being Wolf, he kind of does that a little bit better. So he's just going to have to play out of his range and punish, his, uh, punish some like laggy options that Wolf just doesn't exactly have. Ooh! Good catch on the air dodge. I don't know if that was intentional or not, but it was nice regardless. Damn, he's just keeping up good pressure with the egg tosses and... Okay, you know what? Yeah, we'll flash. If it's gonna hit, it's gonna kill. That's how this works. <laughs> Pretty good option. No, no. It's an alarming option, that's what it is. But Damn, just gonna try to... Ledge trap AZ, and he's doing a pretty good job at it. Just gonna get hit by another Wolf Flash though, that does so much damage. So he's not gonna be able to finish that one off. Up air out of shield, not an option that I've seen, but it's a pretty good one. And the bear's just gonna kill. Landing bear doesn't feel like it should ever kill me, and it's a kill move. Always has been, always will be. So, just alarmingly strong. But both players just kinda keeping it even, <laughs> nearing each other here. That's kind of their whole combo starter game plan, or their get off me option, just kind of there. The landing from Danby, kind of just babysitting AZ there for a little bit. Casting his jump, AZ is out of jump, but it's not exactly gonna matter. He wasn't in a great position to let Shaffin to begin with. Oh, the retreating laser. Do another wolf! Oh my god! Okay! AZ just seems to know his distance and know when to go for it, because dang, is he landing these. Oh, he should be dead. No. Oh, that's the egg toss! <laughs> okay then. What are these players just pulling out all their traits for this? It's like the one time only stuff that you won't exactly see again. The wolf does have combos in the wolf flash, so I don't know. Maybe you'll see it. Okay. Maybe he's trying to go for a full call out. It's still even. Those players are pretty equally matched here. They are just keeping up such a good rally. AZ got caught without a jump there, but it just kind of nares out. Ah, he did so much damage there that AZ's in a not too bad of a position, seeing as it's Wolf. But like, he's gonna have to work a little bit in order to get through this. Someone's putting 20 on someone. Yeah, the only sort of game plan here is just to honestly get get Wolf into like a bad ledge situation or something, or just do a landing aerial. What's more so an aerial juggle? That's what Yoshi's good at. He's good at just hitting those strong aerials because those are his primary kill moves. All the other ones are kind of slow, besides maybe like up smash, which is still somewhat slow and punishable, but decent grounded option. Oh, just, Wolf Flash doesn't make it. He just dies. Either he didn't make it or he held down. You know, down gives it a makes it like go lower and slightly farther due to like the nature of that. But I don't know, maybe he held it for too long. Either way, great first game from both of them. Being able to just apply like such good pressure onto each other whenever the time came for it. Both of them being well, Yoshi being floaty, Wolf being kind of like a class faller. It makes for uh it makes for some different combo games between both of them. Yoshi being able to keep up such a strong rally on Wolf falling back into his moves. And Wolf, be, Wolf just being able to like continuously apply the pressure apply the pressure that's needed on Yoshi, where he kind of floats into position for him to continue that combo. But pretty even game from both of them to be honest. It could go either way. Maybe just displaying a little bit better pressure there at the end, but. Either way, it's... They're gone. Alright. We're getting water right now. Get the easy class in. Go get water and stall for a minute. 
They both are, though. That's okay. Pick for game two. I don't remember what stage they picked, but I think AZ just needs to do a better job at like just keeping away from uh, Yoshi's like drifting aerials and being able to like just properly carry those. Like because most of the time he's hitting you with like a late hit in air or a re pretty reactable fair. Like you can carry that on reaction. There's gonna be like just the primary shield pressure off them. Oh, down being through the platform. I wouldn't have expected it. And so much damage out of the dare. I'm just gonna cover him again, but actually not keeping up that pressure. I would have expected him just to linger with Nair or something, or just another up there. But at the same time, Dampy's just honestly just beating the heck out of AZ briefly. Catching all of his run ins and catching his jumps pretty successfully. Punishing like pretty mediocre options when it comes down to lasering. He's kind of doing it a little too close to him. Oh, he even text the drag down there! I don't know if that was intentional, but he covered it regardless. Though it's a, I mean, he didn't like charge the up smash at all. It just covers tech in place. Maybe showing some signs of life, trying to, trying to get him some simple two hit combos. Maybe there's some good shield pressure on the dare, letting, letting it go and then coming back into him to shield poke him and catch him off guard. I don't know if it's intentional, but it was good regardless. AZ just trying to juggle Bambi and gets him with the up tilt. Honestly, not some bad, not too bad play from AZ. Not as much of a deficit as you would have expected from it. But that's pretty good. He's stuck in the egg, but somehow not punishing it. Instead, of just getting near back. Okay. I'm seeing like instant double jumps from Yoshi to get these proper conversions. And I know Yoshi's got like a actual use for instant double jump on like a lot of characters. That's pretty good. Okay, fair up there. That's gonna kill. Yep. Catching his get up attack. AZ, get, his, get up attacks pretty often if he sees that you're gonna just like be in that, if he thinks you're gonna be in that location. But the thing is with Yoshi is that he can just kind of trick you on where he's gonna end up with the amount of air drift he has on those aerials. You can kind of fade in and fade out. I don't know what kind of downbeat that was or why it worked, but you know what? Sure, why not? He's just trying to catch his tech options, but just doesn't get it. Honestly, really struggling. Now just trying to throw out a smash attack, killing, trying to kill Danby early so he can get himself back in the game. That's the boy land. Huh. Oh, another drag down there, but doesn't get any conversion off of it. Okay, good round for F-Tilt. Izzy's definitely not out of it, but he's in a bad position. That's a strong bear, but it didn't feel like how petty Yoshi is. That's so dumb. But good on Danby for living it. just trying to play out of this deficit here, but Danby is just walling him out. Oh my god, catches the beer versus uh, neutral B with an up smash, putting himself back in the game once more. Oh, she's gonna get thrown off stage though. Not gonna be able to actually keep the pressure on him, and AZ kind of converts that to his own favor. Danby with another down B that AZ is just not prepared to like cover or anything. It's not that. And like, it's not that safe of a move, because, but because of the stars, it's hard to cover. You know? Like, you could hit it technically, but it's kind of difficult to get in on. Good Nair, but it doesn't. But he just kind of walks in place instead of doing anything after. Ah, oh, the Nair actually is just gonna kill him. Yoshi's staple. Demi now up 2 I was really a little bit better gameplay there. Nearly the same, but just both players adapting to each other and showing just. But it's a best of five. Prediction result. Oh. I don't know why I took prediction result and then went back to it. Whatever. But both players adapted to each other pretty well, but Gambi just adapted slightly quicker and was covering a lot more of AZ's just like get up options and like panic aerials to try to start a combo. Izzy just plays out of that range and can like drift back with aerials and land on top of him where Wolf's up air is pretty good, very good even, but like, definitely makes it, hmm, how do you say, like with the way Yoshi works, Wolf's up air is kind of difficult to land on Yoshi when he's just kind of drifting into you from like down there, I mean from up above you, you can catch it with an up smash, but 
It's a very committal. I think Uptilt's a pretty good option for it, but you can't like stuff out Yoshi in the air. It's very hard to do with any character. If you can stuff out Yoshi, you can just kind of apply pressure to maybe try to keep his jump away from him. But Wolf just kind of unable to keep a so, like strong pressure on Yoshi. I think Town is honestly a pretty decent pick for him. Being able to get pretty early kills off the side as Yoshi likes to kill off the top, off, off of like up air confirms. Where Wolf, well, does like to kill off the top, does he also has very prone and moves off the side, and the side last ones being that close might help him a lot here. Bimby, once again, just applying that that type of pressure that he's not prepared to like get hit by. Like the late hit in theirs and the fairs, like he's just not expecting them. What are you guys talking about before? Like you can juggle with the up air, but eventually it's not gonna work out for you if you just the Bambi just drifts away. Good fair bear, not gonna kill. Can you rethink the bear from last game? I think it was just weak hit. Yeah. Okay, good bear. That's what I'm talking about. He wants to kill off the side and he's able to do that just so consistently here. So easily. Just gonna go past that. The jump armor gonna go through the nair. Not allowing AZ to like keep up any sort of ledge pressure. The bear's just gonna kill him. By AZ presenting a pretty decent lead, it just gets taken away from him all the end here. Debbie yeah, not gonna start another conversion. That was all true. If he got that fair, he was dead. Oh my god. Okay. He's just catching his rolls in and such. Applying like such great pressure on the AZ for just running in, maneuvering around everything that he's doing. He's just gonna spike him with the dare, it's not gonna kill. A let's jump up air, then be just showing like really good mastery of his character here. Knowing like where what connects into what, what the hits of every move connects into what hits. Wanting more of a drag down there than just a normal hit, but it's okay. AZ will definitely take that. They're both still on two stocks. AZ's not at that low of uh Disadvantage here, like you can definitely make this back pretty simply if he just lands like a strong hit at some point on Dambi. But Dambi's doing a pretty good job at avoiding him, but not doing a great job at hitting him now. Izzy's doing a much better job at playing patient, playing back, getting away from all of Yoshi's pressure, and going straight through and hitting him with another bear, taking the lead again. Yoshi doing the same, but it's not gonna kill due to the town corners being so high up. Runs through with a nair, not gonna send the way that Danby wants it to. But it'll, it'll end up okay for him. Being able to put pressure on the AZ with just bears, because he knows they'll kill and they're safe on shield as well. It's a really good option. AZ playing away from the landing aerials and punching the downbeat. AZ just playing so much better than we've seen before. He's playing much more patient and much more away from Yoshi. He's just gonna get caught by the pair trying to run away from it. I likely would have gotten hit too there. Oh, gonna get his jump caught, but no more than 30% there. Great running and grab, expecting him to do like another landing aerial, and AZ just runs in and gets him for it. That dash like it. <laughs> AZ in not such a great spot. Oh, he could have just died! That would have been so bad. <laughs> oh, the dash back and then going back in for the grab? This is anyone's game here, but AZ stuck at the ledge. Will he be able to get out of this pressure? I don't know, both players are kind of playing footsies with each other here. Looking for like their last hit, trying to get their combo starter. The combo starter into the combo finisher basically, just trying to end the game. AZ throwing out so many safe bears that just kill, so whoever programmed that move is up. Asshole. But, oh, no, not gonna kill due to the town blast zone. And he's not gonna get the egg toss like we saw before. Oh, I'm landing there, still not gonna take it. AZ needs to, like, just stay away from the aerials like he was before. But the problem is, he has to land a killing blow. Oh, the trade's gonna kill AZ! And then he's gonna take that three. Oh! Great gameplay from both players there, honestly. Very fun match to watch. Izzy nearly brought that one back for another game. I would have loved if he did it. That would have been super.